Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I'm here with game four of my series between the Minnesota North Stars and the St. Louis Blues. We're in the second round, and this is game four. We come into the game down two games to one. We won the last game, but we lost the first two. And so here we find ourselves uh, ready to do battle and try to even the series up. If we win the ser if we win this game, we tie the series at two apiece and we'll be in okay shape. If we lose, we're down three games to one and we're in very bad shape. So let's get on with it. All right, that's not who we want to see in net for them. Let's go to visitor lines and uh, let's go to Curtis Joseph. We'll put him in at goaltender for the Blues. I don't know, for some reason, the computer wants to keep playing um, either Jablonski or um, Rian Du in net, and I don't know why that is. So we're going with Curtis Joseph because that's, I mean, they're up two games to one, so they are kind of playing with house money, but they don't want to just blow that house money away for no reason. And we got John Casey in, so with that, we will take the opening face off. And as usual, I will move ahead in the game or edit the game accordingly, depending on how it's going and, you know, if uh, it's come becoming quite apparent that we are either going to lose or very definitely going to win so that I can uh, edit the um, video down to something that's manageable that people will watch. So we have... Um, Brian Bellows with the opening face off. Select the player for the shot. I am going to take it with Bellows. Yeah, that's good. And Bellows is inside. He worked himself inside. And he's got a six, which is a goalie rating, and an eight, which is a rebound. And let's see what happens on the rebound. Offensive right defenseman if a three. And no, he is not. So. I'm going to give it to Gagne. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, you never know which one of these guys is the best guy to take it. I'm going to pass it with Gagne. And it's an inside shot for any player. Nice. Yeah, we'll make it Bellows. That's fine. Rich Suter with a chance to intimidate. And he does. And so Rich Suter now has the puck with 59 seconds left, and he skates successfully with it. And that's it. That's the end of the first period. So we go to the second period. It's still 0 0. We're out shooting St. Louis 15 to 10, but both goalies are playing a stellar game in the net. So, and we have a, a power play for. 42 seconds. Madonna with the puck. Inside shot for left wing, and that's Bellows. Let's see if he can do it. No. Save, and the right wing for St. Louis has it. That's Rich Suter. And he successfully skates with it. And he successfully, does he successfully skate with it again? Looks like maybe, yeah. And we are going to try to intimidate with 75% intimidation. And there's no there's going to be no penalty. Nice. So Jim Johnson should have the puck. Right? And he does. 18.24 left in the second period, and we are now at even strength on the ice. 
and we're even on the scoreboard at zip zip. Oates with an outside shot, and that's a seven goalie rating and a 10, and that's a save. Breakaway, whatever, whatever. So it's going to be a face-off. I don't know what BWY was if it wasn't breakaway, but I guess it didn't happen if it was. So they got to say a face-off to Casey's left. There's a scrum. Looks like Butcher gets the puck. And he failed to penetrate, which, you know, you would have to expect. And so now Tenorti comes away with the puck for us, for the Minnesota good guys. And uh, hmm, inside shot from Madonna. Nice. And that could not be a goal. It isn't. We got a 14, and it was a goal 1-12. to 12. So... What we have now is a face-off to Joseph's right. Still in a scoreless game, but we're out shooting St. Louis 17-11. to 11. Good sign that we're out playing them. Uh, Tenorti with an outside shot. I'm going to try to penetrate with him. And he failed to penetrate. And he only had a 1-4 to four chance anyway. I don't know why I did that. But, you know, I figured it was Tenorti. Who knows? But it didn't work. So, Dan Quinn has an outside shot and probably was only an outside shot. And that's going to be a save left wing. So, our left wing will come away with the puck. And that's Duchesne, Gatan Duchesne with the puck. 1645 left in the second. And he loses it to Rich Suter. who I think uh, his brother Ryan is in attendance tonight. And uh, we have a hard hit, dice roll, no penalty. So it looks like maybe we took the puck away. Uh, no, we didn't, but Jeff Brown now has the puck. Maybe there was a change of possessions in there, you know, really quickly. So, um, and player penetrate, they actually probably threaded the needle to Meager. So Meager has an inside shot, but he loses it to the right wing. And that happens to be Mike Craig at this particular time. So there's 1501 left in the second period of yet still a scoreless game. And McCray, Basil McCray is inside, and that's a save, left wing. New lines go out, and now Lowry has it for St. Louis. 14-28 left in the second period. Brett Hull worked his way inside. Six is goalie rating. Nine is a goal 18, and that's an 18, or a 12, and that's going to be a goal. So we are losing one nothing, just like that. All this back and forth, and now we're losing. And really, I mean, we're clearly out playing them. So we're out shooting them 18 to 13, but they have one goal and we have nothing. So let's hope that that situation gets fixed. And Dahlquist now has possession of the puck. And uh, Featherston hammered him, took the puck away, and has an outside shot. He gets a five, which is a save, and left defenseman coming up with the puck for Minnesota. And that's going to be Wilkinson. Neil Wilkinson, who again, you will see his name is not over here at all, so I don't even know how he makes it onto the ice all the time, but he does. I'm going to try to intimidate at 25%. What a hit. Good aggressive hit. Possible penalty, 12, no penalty. Good. So Brian Propp has possession of the puck with 12.39 left in the second period.
And we got Mike Madano with possession of the puck. And a bone jarring hit, no penalty. So they're going to have possession, it would seem. Cavallini should have it. And it, and it changes to Bob Basson with the line change. So they're out shooting us 18 14 and outscoring us 1 0 with 12.05 in the second. But Schmail takes the buck away and has an outside shot. Seven is a save defensive right wing. So Joseph with the big save and Rich Suter picking up the puck. And is am I seeing that Duchesne took the puck away from him? And that was a possible penalty. They they actually hammered him and took the puck away from him and didn't have a penalty. So Oh, wait, wait. No, he got the puck back. I don't even, I can't even read this stuff. And there's a goal by Duchesne, Duchesne. Nice. We tie the game at one. I don't know how the melee went back and forth. It looked like Duchesne had lost the puck, but he didn't lose the puck. He actually worked his way inside on Stevens and got the goal. With Tenorti on the assist. So. We, the game is tied at one. And it goes to McLean, Paul McLean, Mr. McLean. Basil McRae maybe takes the puck away. And no. Or did he? No. Meager took the puck away from. Basil McRae possibly and had an inside shot because he worked his way inside, but Casey saved it and now Mike Craig has it. 1032, so we're winding down to about half of the second period remaining and half of it gone. And Tomlinson takes it away and has an outside shot, and that's going to be a save in the center for Minnesota. We'll pick it up. And that's going to be Neil Broughton. Neil Broughton with it. We're out shooting them six or twenty to sixteen, and we're tied one nothing. Select a player for the shot. I'm going to give it to Dolan. Dolan's a good choice. I mean, you know. But Lowry uh, knocks him on his butt and takes the puck away. Now he's got it. And they're trying to see if they can work it inside. But Broughton intercepts it. And, yeah, Broughton inside. Nice. Need that. Seven is save defensive right defenseman. So the St. Louis right defenseman will come up with it. And now there is less than half of the second period remaining at 8.50. And there's a penalty. Probably on us. And it is. Brian Glenn is going to the box. So we're going to be shorthanded for two minutes. And we got to try to keep the puck out of the net for that two minutes. Not so, you know, important to score as to just keep the puck away from the net. And Cavallini coming up with it. And Quinn has an outside shot, but we're keeping him to the outside. That's going to be a save center, except we don't have a center, because I think because of the penalty. So St. Louis is controlling it, and that's going to be Jeff Brown penetrating. Jeff Brown with an inside shot. He gets a seven, which is a save left wing. So the puck will go to our left wing, and that happens to be Perry Berezin. The Perry Berry. And he takes the puck and loses it to Dan Quinn. So Dan Quinn has an eight, which is a rebound. And let's see who gets the rebound. Yeah. Kurt Giles. And he was my only choice. So, and, But it's good that I had a choice. 
So Giles takes the puck. And crisscrossing it. So Cavallini now has it with an inside shot. That's an eight. That's a rebound. Casey. And the, the penalty to Glenn is over. And I can give it to any offensive player. Um, or defensive player. I'm going to give it to um, Dahlquist, who's across from an A. And then we will see what happens here. Outside shot for left wing. I guess Featherston took it away. No, DeShane. All right, our left wing. DeShane has an outside shot option. I'm just going to take it. Just going to throw rubber at the net on this one. Same defensive center. So St. Louis's center will come away with the puck. And that's Ron Wilson. Wilson golfs it out of his zone. And that gives the puck back to Perry Berezin. Now we are out shooting them only 22 to 20. The score is tied at one. And there's 519 left. And I will try to intimidate at 60%. And Tomlin says it is plastered. And Craig takes it. No penalty reading on that one. So Craig just takes the puck. And it looks like we may have an outside shot. No, they do. They took the puck away, and Tomlinson has an outside shot. I always guess wrong. I don't know. So uh, that's a lose. Our left wing is going to have the puck, and that's Brian Bellows. 408 left. And Hull looks like he took the puck away and has an outside shot, and he is going to just take the outside shot. Again, another rebound yet again. And offensive left defenseman if a three. And how is Scott Stevens a three offensively? All right. So that's a save. Left defenseman gets the puck for us. That's Tenorti. 340 left in the second. Looking for an open man. Somebody is. And Garth Butcher. Now, is it Garth Butcher? Yes, Garth Butcher has the puck. And we got Brian Prop taking the puck away. And Brian Prop with an outside shot. Seven, save defensive center. Joseph is just, he's just a, well, I don't want to say he's a brick wall exactly. I mean, we do have a goal on him, but he's playing very well. But, you know, so is John Casey. So let's see who's going to end up with this possible penalty. 19, probably on us then, if they have the puck. Coincidental majors. Dave Gagne and Scott Stevens. Maybe that's how it is. If it's a major, if it's a major, they let the five guys stay on the ice. And if it's a two-minute penalty, a minor penalty, they, they take both guys off the ice, and it's a four-on-four item. Four so anyway, Jeff Brown has it for St. Louis. A minute 48 left. The second period is winding down. Glenn has an outside shot. Well, he's going to, I'm going to try to pass it with him. What the heck? Inside shot for center. It worked. Nice. <coughs> and that's a five goalie rating. Six. Goal, Bobby Smith. Puts us ahead as the second period is winding down. Cujo. We touched up Cujo for the second goal of the game for us. Third game of the goal overall. And that was Bobby Smith from Glenn and Doug Schmale. So Ron Wilson will take the uh, face off for St. Louis and Bobby Smith for us. There's a scrum in the corner. 
and rolls to Rich Suter, it looks like, and it does. So he has it. There's a minute 24 left and counting. And we got an outside shot for Duchesne. Duchesne, who already has a goal, I believe. And that is going to be a save left wing. So Tomlinson will come away with the puck for St. Louis with 49 seconds left in the second. We can take a one goal lead to the third period. That's pretty exciting. 30% chance of intimidation. I will take it. And there's going to be a penalty. So probably on us. You got to believe. And it is Brian Glenn with the penalty. So we're shorthanded. And that shorthandedness is going to carry over into the third period with only 49 seconds left and a face off to Casey's left. And that's it, period over. But we got 20 minutes left in the game. We're winning by a goal, but there's a power play for St. Louis for a minute 11. As we have Glenn sitting in the box, Brett Hall with the puck. And he feeds Quinn, who has an outside shot. And Casey makes the save. <coughs> and that gives it to Kurt Giles. And Hull, with a cross-ice pass, has an inside shot. That's a nine save left wing. So our left wing will come away with it. That's Perry Barrison. Let's hope he can keep possession of it. No, there's an outside shot for any Blues player. Or no, any, I guess any of our players. All right, well, I'll give it to Broughton. And Broughton is going to try to penetrate, even though it's probably not going to work, and it doesn't. Especially shorthanded, it was probably... It was probably doomed to failure, but I had to do what I can. So Lowry now has possession of the puck for St. Louis. And now Dolan takes the puck away from him, and Dolan has it with 17.21 left in the game, potentially, if we can hang on and win. Uh, Neil Broughton. Yeah, player for the shot. I'll give it to Neil Broughton. You know that. Any day and twice on Tuesday. And that's going to be a, I guess, no penalty. So looks like Oates took it away from him. A little bit of back and forth. Now it's Quinn on a line change. So Dan Quinn has it for St. Louis. 16.39 left in the period, and Gagne takes it away and has an outside shot. That's a nine. That's a saved left wing. So there's going to be uh, Basson. Basson coming up with it for St. Louis with 16.10 left. And uh, looks like there's a possible breakaway for us, Bobby Smith. Nine, goalie rating, five, goal, Bobby Smith. <laughs> Bobby Smith gives us a three to one lead with 16-10 left. So the goal for Bobby Smith from Gatan Duchesne. The 16-10 mark. So now it's now St. Louis has a sense of urgency that they have to uh, get on because we're winning three to one, and maybe now we see why they were playing um, Riendu and Net instead of Cujo. Although Cujo won game one, so I don't know. 
a possible penalty to somebody. And that's Jeff Brown with the penalty. So they're shorthanded for two of the last 1531 with us up by two goals. I'm liking our chances of tying the series. What do you guys think? Uh, let's see. Select a player to get the puck, I'm guessing. So that's I'm going to give it to Glenn because he's across from an A, and we would love to have a five-on-three instead of a five-on-four. And Glenn has an outside shot option. I'm going to pass it with him. Passing J, inside shot for center. That's Gagne. And Gagne with the inside shot, that's an eight. That's a rebound. And offensive center if a three. And it is Gagne with, an, with a rebound shot. And that's a three goalie rating plus eight rebound. Do we get it? No. St. Louis has control. So Ron Wilson, after all of that, Ron Wilson comes away with the puck. And he's going to try to skate with it. 15 12 left, a minute 41 left in the penalty to Jeff Brown. He'll try to skate again. We can't keep it in the St. Louis end, so we have to work it back up. Gagne has an outside shot. I'm going to pass it with him. He's a good passer. Passing L, um, inside shot for any player. Bellows, yes. Bellows with an inside shot. He can put the game away. Goalie rating, eight, rebound. Offensive center, if a two, you got to believe that's going to happen. And it is Gagne with the, with the shot for face off. So we're trying. We're putting the pressure on. I mean, we're out shooting them 31-24 and outscoring them 3-1. 14-09 left in the game. Um, let's see, select a player for possession, really. So I'm going to give it to Glenn, who's across from an A. And let's see, Glenn has an outside shot option. I'm going to pass it with him. Lose puck. Defensive center has control, but they don't have one. So it's recovered by us, it looks like. Yes, it is. Bellows with an outside shot. I'm going to try to penetrate with him. Does not work. So they're going to have possession. And it looks like that penalty, yes, is over. But we're still winning 3-1 with only 13-16 left in the game. And Bellows takes the puck away and has an outside shot. Save defensive right defenseman. And it goes to Butcher. So Butcher has it. Inside shot for center. And we have a chance to intimidate. We will do it. Oates is plastered, so it's just a matter of whether there's a penalty and there isn't. So Tenorti has possession of the puck for us. 12-16 left. And we have a two-goal lead. Stevens takes the puck away and has an outside shot. That's a nine save right defenseman. So we got Jim Johnson with possession of the puck for us. And what happened there? Player failed to penetrate. They took the puck away, apparently but they couldn't get inside with it. And so now Bobby Smith has it. 11.04 left, and we still got that good two-goal lead. And 
And Ron Wilson taking the puck away and has an outside shot. It's a five. That's a save right wing. I'm feeling real good about a tie. We got Doug Schmale picking the puck up with 10.33 left in the third period. Out shooting and out scoring St. Louis at this point. Out shooting, out scoring, out playing, you can say. But the player got inside, and that's Rich Suter. <coughs> he gets a five. That's a save right defenseman. And there's a line change, and now Kurt Giles has the puck for us. 9.48, so now we got less than a half a period left. And still have the 3-1 lead. Broughton has the intimidation chance. I'm going to say no at 25%. Just let him take the shot right now. And that's going to be a save right defenseman. We really don't need anybody going to the box right now. So Kurt Giles has it with 920 left. Uh, Bellows, 25%. I'm going to say no. <coughs> there is a, a save and a face off by Casey. So we have the face off to Casey's left. 920 still on the clock looking like. And Mike Madano picking the puck up. And it looks like they're going to have the extra penalty. Yes. So we do have another, uh, another uh, power play for two minutes with 840 left in the game and a two goal lead. So. St. Louis is in real trouble here. And Dolan picks up the puck for us. Tenorti with an outside shot. It's going to go to the left defenseman, and there's a save by Joseph. Butcher picking up the puck. 824 left. And Bob Basson has the puck for St. Louis with 7.48 left. And he has a failed skate, so we're going to pick up the puck. Quick pass. Um, player for the shot, I'm going to go with Bobby Smith. Smith, I'm going to penetrate. I shouldn't have done that. He's not that good at penetrating. Inside shot for center left wing, though. And that turns out to be prop. And what happens but a goal? So, prop pretty much just put the game away. I mean, I'm not seeing, uh, I'm not seeing that happening. So we are going to, with a four to one lead and 721 left, I am going to quick play to three minutes remaining. And the goal, uh, the game is now five to one. So we're going to have to see who got that goal for us, but. It's really um, definitely out of reach now. And Kurt Giles gets the puck. Maybe after this performance, St. Louis should go back to re-and-do. 
I'm going to say no, no intimidation, doesn't matter now. I mean, we let them inside, great. And John Casey is playing out of his mind, too. I mean, let's not lose that in all of this. So, Brian Glenn with the puck, a minute 24 left. The 5 1 lead for us. We're out shooting them 35 32. The shots are pretty close, but the game isn't. Jeff Brown with it, 44 seconds left. I'm not going to intimidate, let them inside. And that's a goal. Cavallini. Got a goal, but I mean, you know, not like they're going to win. That only makes it 5-2. 44 seconds left, and they still got Joseph in, but of course, you know, it's a three-goal lead with four, 44 seconds, so. Scrum in the corner. Looks like Basson will have it again after the scrum in the corner. Four on four, Basson with the puck. Six seconds left, game winding down. Uh, Gatan, Duchesne, whatever, whatever the suggestion is, doesn't really matter. And he'll take the outside shot. Three, save left defenseman. And the penalties are over and so is the game. Let's see who that other goal was by. Well, the first star was Bobby Smith. Second star was John Casey. And third star was Gatan Duchesne. And uh, let me see here. Scoring. The last one was Madonna from Gagne and Bellows, it looks like. So there you go. We won 5-2. to two. We have tied the series at two games apiece. And so we're going back to St. Louis, Louis with a tied series in the second round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. But for right now, that's it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.